Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Holly Randall Unfiltered, coming to you from the AVN Expo 2023 at the Joy City booth. And we have one of our beautiful Joy City models here, Jules Blue. Hey there, everybody. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing so wonderful. It's so good to be back at AVN. Uh, yeah, I was going to ask you. So it's been like two years. Oh, yeah. um, are you feeling that the energy is different this time? Like after basically the world changed from COVID? <laughs> well, I feel like people are definitely very, very happy to be here. Yeah. I feel like, I mean, this is my second avian ever, but I feel like the energy is still high. Also like the new location, I didn't know what to think, but I think it's going to be a hit. Like we have more space to roam around, mm -hmm. a little more spread out. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's great. <laughs> you know what I love about the new location is the fact that you're not allowed to smoke here. That makes me very happy because the cigarette smoke at the Hard Rock killed me. Oh, I, I'm not a fan of cigarette smoke as well. So I'm right with you on that. <laughs> so um, let's talk a little bit about Joy City, which ah. we have scanned you for and um, which you're going to have a, a destination in. Um, so it's the first erotic metaverse. How do you feel about this upcoming platform? I know <laughs> we worked with you so long ago and it's been, you know, there's been a lot of back end stuff we've been working on. So I hope it doesn't feel too anticlimactic, oh, but uh, we're like ready to go finally. Good things come to those who wait. And honestly, I feel like this is absolutely revolutionary, like because there's nothing else like it. And I don't know, I'm super excited because I feel like, I don't know, my whole vibe is like kind of cyberpunk, like, you know, virtual cyber, like, you know, e-girl, anime girl, like stuff. So that I feel like Joy City, I feel like it really resonates with me and I'm very happy to have like a little featured space in there. Yeah. Like, ooh, I'm just, ah, all the possibilities. Do you have any like specific ideas that it, you've been running in your head? Cause it, you know, it's a creator platform. So it's a place that you can really be you and you can showcase the things that you love. Well, I, honestly, when I think of Joy City, I think of like Blade Runner vibes. Yeah. And there's a character in Blade Runner, her name is Joy. Yep. And I'm like, I don't know. I kind of like. I want to be. I want to be Joy City's Joy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be the go-to virtual waifu that people could like hang out with if they're, you know, they need some company and yeah. whatever. Let's go on adventures in the cyberverse. <laughs> yeah, and that's what's so exciting about Joy City is like it's you know I mean p fans are already connecting with their favorite stars on other platforms, but this is an immersive space that people can interact with you in this you know 3D environment in a way that they never could before and just the possibilities are so exciting. I'm so excited. I'm excited to like, I don't know, be in like the Joy City metaverse and like hang out and interact because I truly like, for me, one thing that's important in like all my like platforms, I like, you know, having very intimate fan interaction, you know, like I want it to feel like, you know, I want them to get to know me. I want to get to know them. And so I'm very excited that like, you know, this will open up a new channel for that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> so you also have just started streaming on Twitch, is that right? Yes, I have. So are you playing video games? I am there? playing video games. And then what are your go-to video games? Oh, so my go-to video games right now that I have played uh, while streaming, I've done Genshin Impact, which is like a third-person RPG game, very fantasy-esque. And then I've also played Cyberpunk as well, surprisingly. <laughs> um, and I don't know, just like kind of like first person, like RPG, like shooter games. I don't know. I, I like all types of video games as well. It's kind of been like a little bit of a learning curve because I haven't played video games in such a long time. So it's been exciting to like, I don't know, get back into it and like find out what I like in that type of like realm. <laughs> and it's so cool too, because now we're in a world where you can like monetize playing video games, like having fun, things oh, that yeah. you love, which, you know. I do I gaming sessions with my fans, like one-on-one -on -one gaming sessions really? with my fans, yeah, where, oh. I, where I talk to them like on Discord, like while we play the video game together. That's so cool. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> it's such a it's such an interesting market. I remember when this first came out, I remember thinking to myself, like, who's going to pay to like 
who's going to make money from playing <laughs> video games? Do you remember, like, yeah. I don't know if you remember, because I'm much older than you. But, you know, when I was a kid, it was like playing video games is wasting your life. Oh, and, yeah. You know, you're never going to get anywhere. No one's ever going <laughs> to pay you to play video games. Welcome to the future, people. Oh, Everything yeah, is not what we not. thought it would be. <laughs> no, I think, honestly, like, video games get a very bad rep, but they actually, like, build up a lot of great skills, like hand-eye coordination, reflexes. So I don't know. And, like, they kind of, they, kind of, they challenge you in different ways. Yeah. They, but, you know, I th it, you know, it's still good to get outside and, you know, yeah. as the internet says, touch some grass. Yeah, they, <laughs> one, one should still get outside from time to time. But I did yeah. read up, I did read, like, that there was this interesting study where the results were different than what they expected from people video gaming and that it did do, you know, worked on the hand-eye coordination, like you said, and then like problem solving skills and stuff like that. So it was just interesting, you know. We always have so much fear around new technologies and how it's going to affect people and that it's going to like be the downfall of society. But then we often find that the results are not like, you know, that the things that we were expecting. I think it's really exciting too because I feel like, you know, Look like, there. I know there's you were, she was right there. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's like good to embrace new technologies because if we don't, then we're never going to be able to move forward in the future. And I feel like, I don't know, in a world where like the adult industry is so ostracized, even online now with yeah. like a lot of like the censorship that we deal with, it's amazing that there's going to be a platform built specifically, you know, like that it can cater to like people in our industry in different ways. And open up like a new like you know source of revenue source of interaction like yeah. I think it's super important and like super exciting yeah. and like I'm so like I honestly like you were talking about like you know how long ago like we worked together like like I knew it was coming and like good things truly do come to those who wait and like you know something like this cannot be rushed like no. great greatness cannot be rushed yes <laughs> perfection can't be rushed yes <laughs> oh my god I love that you said that um, yeah, no, it's just really exciting, too, because we're also bringing in, like, pop culture elements as well. So we're going to have, like, musicians, oh, and we're going to have people so cool. who are not just in the adult industry. We really want it to be a fun destination for everybody, like a Las Vegas online, you know? Exactly. Where oh my you can God. enjoy your adult pleasures, but there's also, like, non-adult things to enjoy as well. That's and so exciting. Yeah, and it's just, like, <laughs> we really look forward to creating a space where everything is accepted, you know, and everything is on the same level and you can, you know, access your favorite musician on there and your favorite porn star. And like, they don't need to be separated and be on different platforms. They can be in one place. Cause this is also, because it's a creator platform, you know, it's a place where like, there is no exploitation. There is, you know, there's no one person running this platform. This is gonna be run by the people, by the creators, by the users, oh, through the amazing. DAO and, you know, you guys are going to shape the future of this platform. So it's really revolutionary on so many Ooh, different levels. Giving which me is the so chills exciting. right now. Seriously, giving me the chills. I'm so excited. Like, I, I think that's amazing. I think we really need something like this, like something like where there's like a little bit of something for everybody. Yes. Your one stop shop, your one yeah. stop destination. Yeah. And also, <laughs> I think too, like, you know, in this new world where we have you know, career driven and intelligent women like you who are really creating a brand around your image, you know, people get the idea of porn that it's like some girl who got pushed into it by her boyfriend and she doesn't want to do it. Or it's like, or like so limiting yeah. as well because like I, my interests and the things that I do, like they're not just in porn. Like yeah. I like truly like see myself as like, I, I, I say like creatrix, like I like to create in all types of ways, whether it's like, you know, my like content, whether it's like, you know, my artsy like photo shoots for fun, like my merch, like, you know, just like I have so many different things that I like to do, and I feel like you know people. Oh, sorry. I just want to hear you saying yeah, wonderful things. Want to hear it? People like to you know put us like porn people in these boxes, like oh you know they can't do anything else because yeah. they do porn. It's like no, like so many of us are so talented and driven and have so many interests, and I feel like having you know something where we can showcase that stuff and allow others to see, I think that's really important. Yeah, I agree. And that's like, that's really what we're about at Joy City. And I'm I know so that excited. you are like a super talented so person <laughs> who like designs their own sets. And it's just like, yeah, it's just endless opportunities for that kind of creativity. Yeah. And it's just really, really exciting. I'm so, I'm so excited and so honored. <laughs> well, Jules, thank you so much for joining us. Can you tell everybody where they can find you online if they want to learn more about you? So you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com, Jules, J-E-W-E-L-Z underscore B-L-U. Or you can find me on Instagram. My handle is only Jules Blue. 
And then what about Twitch? Twitch, uh, my Twitch is also only Jules Blue. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And of course, make sure that you go to Joy City and sign up for email updates so that you can learn everything about the next steps and where the platform is going. We've got some really cool things in store for you. Thank you so much for watching. Yay! <laughs>